MSNBC host Lawrence O'Donnell was on C-SPAN, where he was asked about the fear around the word socialism, and he gave a fantastic historical response. Socialism in the 1950s in America uh, became a bad word, and, and we then became uh, anti-intellectual about socialism. We as a country stopped thinking about what it actually is and just adopted, for the most part, a posture of fear uh, against the word and the concept socialism. And so, uh, you know, when Medicare uh, was proposed in the 1960s, the argument against it wa was essentially it's socialism. That was the entire argument. And it was kind of surprising that that argument didn't work, especially because it was true. Medicare is socialism and everyone on Medicare in this country is the beneficiary of a very smart socialistic program called Medicare. And to deny that it's socialism is to deny economic literacy. Uh, but that's what our politics does. And so socialism, it turns out, is not terrifying if you know what it is. The other thing about socialism is that it's all around us in the United States, and it has been for most of the 20th century, and uh, our country wouldn't work without it. Every country in the world is now what, we, what economists call a mixed economy, meaning they are mixes to varying degrees of capitalism and socialism. And Cuba is at one extreme of socialism with very little capitalism. And the United States is in an area that's much more toward the middle. I mean, think about our healthcare system. Almost half, almost half of the spending in the American healthcare system is government spending. That is socialistic spending, every single penny of it. So is our healthcare system socialist? No. Is our healthcare system capitalist? No. Is our healthcare system socialistic? Yes, it is. Does our healthcare system have capitalistic elements? Yes, it does. And so uh, people have to grow up. They have to drop their fear of the word. They have to look at the socialism that they like. They have to look at the socialism that they think is smart. They have to look at socialism like Social Security uh, and other socialistic programs that they don't even know are socialistic programs and relax about the word and make adult decisions about just how much socialism is the right mix for this economy uh, and how much capitalism is the right mix. And the truth of it is, we cannot run this country without both of them. What more can I possibly add? <laughs> Lawrence O'Donnell broke it down. Now, as a Canadian, I experience a little more socialism than the average American does. So, for example, we have universal health care. Now, since adopting universal health care in, uh, in the 60s, no... No government, at least recently in the past 20, 30 years, has ever tried to run on private health care. If the Conservative Party in Canada tried to run uh, as, one of their, uh, as part of their platform, oh, we're going to move away from universal health care, government-funded universal health care, and move towards a private system, they would get absolutely destroyed. Nobody in Canada wants to move to a private system like the U.S. In the U.S., an average of 45,000 people die every year due to a lack of access to health care. In Canada, zero. Because there is no lack of access to health care. If you want health care, you get it. Not to mention uh, medical bankruptcies, another issue in the U.S. that doesn't exist anywhere else that has universal health care. So, again, I I'm focusing on health care here, but... This, this is a, a social program. So this idea that, you know, America is a capitalist nation, unfortunately, yeah, for a, a large, uh, for a large part of it, it is. But there are social programs that exist and are very successful. So especially when it comes to, you know, like basic necessities, healthcare to me is a basic necessity. Roads, bridges, police, firemen, these sorts of things should be funded by the government because they are basic necessities for life. But 
to you know in, to, to have a profit motive in the healthcare industry to, to have people making money off sick people to me is insane and when you look at the happiest countries in the world who makes the top five let's look finland norway denmark iceland switzerland these are countries that rely on a lot more socialistic programs than my country does than america does than many other countries do the happiest countries on earth are mixed economies that have a lot more socialism than countries like mine so people have to is there still a fear of the word socialism i mean if you're under you know 40 years old are people still scared of the word because from all the polling that i've seen now socialism is becoming more and more and more popular I mean, just look at the DSA, the Democratic Socialists of America. After Ocasio-Cortez won her, uh, her race, their, uh, their membership blew up. They have a lot more people joining the DSA since Trump won in 2016 because people are seeing socialism as the alternative to this broken system. This fear around the word, to me, is ridiculous, especially if you just bring in a little knowledge, understand that the happiest countries on earth are a lot more socialistic, you begin to understand that, hey, maybe socialism isn't such a scary thing.